Hello friends, welcome to Civil Engineering Exam. Today we are going to see the problem related with uh, design of reinforced concrete elements in the topic of singly reinforced beam. So the problem is design a singly reinforced concrete beam over the effective fan of 5 meter. Okay, so to support the design service load of, so service load also given that is 8 kN per meter, add up M20 grade concrete then Fe415 that is Fck and Fy values are given. So then design the beam to satisfy the collapse and serviceability limit state. Okay, so now the given values, so the given that is L equal to given that is 5 meter, so that is 5000 mm. So next thing is Fck values given that is 20 Newton power mm square. So then Fy value also given that is 415 Newton power mm square. Okay, so these are the given values. So uh, so we have to find design the singly reinforced beam. So first thing is step one. Cross sectional dimensions of the beam. So now cross sectional dimension assume that is overall depth D equal to 400 mm. Okay, so then effective cover, so cover we have to assume the 50 mm. So now the effective depth equal to overall depth minus cover. So that is uh, 400 minus 50 mm that is equal to 350 mm. Okay, so the total uh, depth is 400 mm. So then effective depth is 350 mm. So then with B equal to we can assume 200 mm. Okay, so now the area the beam cross section is so here depth is total is 400 mm. So effective depth that is uh, small d is 350 mm. So then width is 200 mm. Mm. Okay, so these are all the uh, assumptions. So these are all the cross section dimension of the beam. Okay, so next thing is step two. We can calculate the loads. So first thing is dead weight. There is self weight of beam. Equal to that is uh, 25. That is unit weight of concrete into 0.2 meter into 0.4 meter okay so this is b this is depth okay so now solving this we got the value of 2 kilo newton per meter okay so then live load so live load is given that is 8 kilo newton per meter okay so now the total load so total load w will be 10 kilo newton per meter Okay, so now we can find out the factor load. So now W U equal to 10 into the factor of safety 1.5. Okay, so now we got the value of 15 kilo Newton per meter. Okay, so now the factor load is load is W that is 15 kilo Newton per meter. Okay, so next thing is step 3. So step 3 we can find out the moment and shear force. Okay, So now the moment m equal to w l square by 8. So now we can substitute w is 15 into l, l is 5 square divided by 8. Okay, Solving this we got the value of 46.8 kilo newton meter okay so next thing is v u that is cs stress if there is w l by 2 okay so the 15 into 5 divided by 2 so solving this we got the value of 37.5 kilo newton okay so this is the moment and this is shear force okay so now we can find out the reinforcement so whether we have to find out whether the uh, section is under reinforced or over reinforced so first thing is step 4 So reinforcement. So now we can find out the MU limit. So limiting uh, moment. So that is uh, 0 0.138 FCK B D square. Okay. So now we can substitute 0 0.138 into FCK is 20. Then F uh, B value is uh, 200 into D value is 350. 
square. Okay, so now solving this, we got the value of 68 into 10 power 6 Newton mm. Okay, so now we can convert into kilonewton meter that is 68 kilonewton meter. Okay, so now uh, we know the mu value. So the mu is uh, greater than of mu, so less than of mu limit that is mu value is 46.8. So now the mu limit value is 68. Okay, so hence it is safe. So since this section is under reinforced. Okay, so now we can find out the reinforcement detailing. So mu equal to 0.87 Fy AST into D into 1 minus AST into Fy divided by fck b into d okay so this is a formula we can use uh, find out the ast value okay so now we can substitute so now uh, the moment value is 46.8 into 10 power 6 equal to 0 0.87 fy value is 415 into ast we have to find out into 350 into 1 minus AST into 415 divided by so the uh, FCK value is 20 into 200 into 350 okay so solving this we got the value of AST equal to 425 mm square okay so 425 mm square so assume assume we provide 12 mm dia bars. So next thing is we have to find out the number of bars. Number of bars equal to so the pi into d square that is 12 mm dia bars by d square divided by 4 divided by 4 to 5. So the total AST. So small AST divided by capital AST so that is 4 bars. Okay, so we provide 4 number of bars. 12 mm dia 4 number of 12 mm dia bars okay so now next step is check for shear now v u equal to 37.5 kilo newton okay so now shear stress so tau v equal to v u by b into d okay so v u value is 37.5 into 10 power 3 that is we can convert into newton so divided by b value is 200 into d value is 350 okay so solving this we got the value of 0 0.35 newton per mm square okay so next thing is uh, we can find out the pt value so pt is 100 ast divided by b into d okay so now we can uh, substitute 100 into 452 divided by b into d so that is 200 into 350 so now we got the value of 0 0.645 Okay, so now in IS456 table 19, so now tau C value is 0 0.51 Newton per mm square. Okay, so now tau C is uh, greater than of tau V, so now shear reinforcement we have to provide. Okay. So, CR reinforcement to be provided. So, now SV equal to spacing that is 0 0.75 D that is uh, now 262.5 mm. Okay, so provide 6 mm dia bars at 250 mm center to center. Okay, so this is a CR reinforcement. Okay, so next thing is we have to find, we have to check for deflection. So check for deflection now L by D maximum equal to L by D basic into KT into KC into KF. Okay, so now uh, we know KT value is 1 and kc and equal to kf equal to 1.1 so now l by d 
basic is 20 for beam okay so now we can substitute so now 20 into kt value is 1 into 1.1 into 1.1 so now l by d max so now l by d max equal to 22 okay so now l by d actual L by D actual equal to L is 5000 divided by uh, depth is 350. So now solving this we got the value of 14.28. So uh, now L by D actual is less than of L by D maximum. So hence it is safe by deflection. Okay. So the beam is safe under deflection. So this is a method we can solve the problem. Again we will see next video. Thank you.